Okay, so now I am going to discuss uh, the statical stability curve. So here we have the sample uh, illustration. So this is our the origin, and then this is uh, 10 degrees is the initial stability. So the curve is going to be like this up to the vanishing point. So this is the range of stability. No? Origin to vanishing point. So as you can see here, this is the vanishing point. So this is the writing arm or GC in feet or in meters. Okay. Okay. So this is the maximum GC up to here. So that is maybe 46 degrees like that. Okay. So I have here my own computation. This is uh, uh, from our ship before based on my experience. Okay. This is our uh, condition during that time. Our KM is 11.67 and the KG is 9.79. So we will subtract this one and we have the result of 1.88. This is our GM. Okay. Since we have movement of the GM, we have GGO is 0 0.51. So again, we will subtract this one. So we can uh, get this GOM. This is the final GM of 1.37. Okay. So our kg is 9.79 so minus ggo 0 0.51 our kgo is 9.28 so kgo we will use this one to produce the goc so as you can see here the kgo is 9.28 so we will put it here the gc correction so we have the correction so 9.28 times sine theta or sine 10 degrees equals and then minus 2.033 the key in so where where will we get this key in key in is uh, from the stability booklet so we have there we have the curve there then we can get this key in okay so 10 degrees the equivalent is 2.033 like that okay so we have here the formula is Okay, in order to get the GOC, we have GOC equals KN minus KGO times sine theta. Okay, so again, 9.28, this is our KGO times sine 10 degrees at 10, no? Sine at 10, sine equals minus 2.033, and then we have the result is 0 0.215, and you will do this up to 70 degrees why up to 70 degrees because our um, vanishing point is until 70 okay so since we already have this one so we will use this GOC to plot in our graph so I made a graph here so again same on my illustration in our illustration here so we have this one. No? This is our actual condition during that during my time when I was on board. Okay, so this is the range of hill in degrees, and then this is the range of GC or writing arm in meters. This is in meters. Huh? Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 70, up to 90 degrees. Okay. Okay, so in 10 degrees we have this 0. Uh, 4215 so we will mark it here because it's maybe here okay just an estimate huh? okay point four and then we have point four two one five it's all about here it's about here okay and then for 20 degrees that is point eight eight twenty so maybe it's here okay so this is just an estimate okay and then so on up to 70 degrees 70 degrees is 0 0.256 okay so you can see here this is the maximum okay when in 50 degrees it's already declining or decreasing okay 1.552 from the maximum 1.602 then it's already decreasing 
1.552 because as you can see here okay it's already been uh, going to negative negative gm okay okay so this is the maximum the maximum gc and then we mark we will put a mark here we know that our gm final gm is 1.37 so it's maybe here so we will put a mark here of 1.37 and then okay we will uh, put straight line from the initial okay origin and then going through here up to the intersection of this curve okay and then so we will put a mark here and then put a line from 1.37 going here so we already have this one and uh, we will put a line also uh, a vertical line straight line going here so we will know how much in degrees okay that this is 57.3 in degrees so the gm of 1.37 so the maximum uh, hill is 57.3 degrees okay so we already know it okay so uh, this data is, was been already has been already uh, drawn here or input here in our graph so now we can project our gc curve okay so in order to again uh, okay so in order to check for the imo criteria okay so we have here the imo criteria so should be uh not less than 0.30 for example this one so first we will compute first okay from the area of 0, 30 to, 0 to 30 degrees we have this angle of hill GUC same so you have you remember the Simpsons rule okay one three three one okay this is the Simpsons rule huh? and then the product Okay, so uh, starting from 0, 10, 20, up to 30 because area from 0 to 30 degrees. So, okay, this is the area, huh? so Simpsons rule. But uh, we will not going to compute the Simpsons rule, but uh, we will use this uh, uh, formula, no? 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, so in 10 degrees, we have four, 0 0.4215. So you can see here in our GUC times 3 then the product is 1.264 and so on 20 degrees is 0 0.888 20 and then times 3 is 2.646 until 30 degrees and then we will uh, add this one and we get a total of 5.232 okay so we have the formula formula of the area from 0 to 30 degrees the formula is 3 8 times uh, 10 degrees divided by divided by 57.3 57.3 this is our uh, angle of hill no sa gm uh, 1.37 okay so we will use 10 degrees 10 degrees divided by 57.33 okay times 3 divided by 8 and then times the total of 5.232 and then we get the, the result of 0 0.342 okay so this is the result no on our computation from the area of 0 to 30 degrees okay next is from the area of 0 to 40 degrees we have a formula here of one third times 10 degrees divided by 57.3 times the product so again angle of hill from 0 to 40 degrees so we will get the GUC okay it's equivalent okay 40 degrees is uh, 1.602 okay and then Simpson's roll of uh, 14241 okay so uh, we are going to multiply this one and then re the result the product is 1.686 
1.764, Okay, and then total 10.34. So we have already total. So we will apply now in our formula. Formula of 0 degrees to 40 degrees is 1 third times 10 degrees divided by 37.3 times product. So 1 third, uh, okay, so 1 third times uh, 0 0.175. This is the result of 10 degrees divided by 37.3 times the product of 10.34. So we have, we get a 0 0.6015. Okay, so now area between 20 to 40 degrees. So area up to 30 degrees, we have 3.3 and then area up to 40 degrees, we have uh, 0 0.6015 0 so minus equals 0 0.259. So this is the area between 30 degrees to 40 degrees. Okay, so based in our table here, so the criteria, okay, so item angle of flooding. So uh, area 30 degrees, area 40 degrees, and then the area 30 and the between 40 degrees and then the GC in 30 degrees and then angle for maximum GC and then the final GM okay so in IMO regulation it depends on the type of the ship okay this is depends on the type of the ship no okay approved criteria okay so more than 0.30 so our calculation is 0.342 so more than the IMO criteria or regulation is 0.60. Then the result calculation is our result calculation is 0 0.615. And then the area between 30 to 40, the IMO regulation criteria is 0 0.20. And then our result calculation is 0 0.259. So this, this is acceptable. Until the angle for maximum GC, we have this 40 degrees maximum GC. We have Okay, 40 degrees. So the IMO criteria says that not less than 25 degrees. So this is acceptable. So about the GOM, the final GM should not be less than 0 0.15. Less than, less than, not more than. So our calculation is 1.37. So this is acceptable. Okay. Acceptable. Okay, so that's it. And thank you.